following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today I'm going to do a features inspection on a beautiful new boat from Galleon, the 400 Fly. This is an ideal first step for people that want to move up from a smaller boat because it's so comfortable to be on and easily owner operated. Let's start our inspection with the stern. The Teak swim platform is down a nine and a half inch step. There is a hydraulic option. This one's in a fixed position just ahead. Two hatches open up to reveal an outdoor galley with counter space, an electric grill, sink, and an ice box. Storage is underneath. Now moving into the cockpit, there are boarding gates that slide into the seating area. L-shaped seating wrapping around a high-low pedestal table and it's expandable. All teak decking and the six foot eight inch overhead gives us protection. Now we can expand on the entertainment aspects of this aft deck by dropping down the two side balconies. We can have them with or without rails since they come in and out easily. And we can even drop this seat back down and expand on the seating. Now there's another entertainment area in the bow. Nice three across sun pad and notice that there's a forward facing seat. This seat back will retract down and stow in a hatch just underneath. There's no stereo control up here, but all of the sound system is Bluetooth capable, so you can control it all with your smartphone. Now this is a comfortable gathering area, L-shaped seating wrapping all the way around the flybridge deck and surrounding a table that is also expandable. I'd like to see this home seat have a flip seat back so that it could also join the crowd. There is, however, a pull-out refrigerated drawer underneath the home seat. Being a fair-skinned Irish boy, I'm always happy to see a bimini top. This one's 6 feet 11 off the deck and it's 13 and a half feet fore and aft. Now to move inside, we open up one door, latch it into position, and then this one, release, slide, fold it, drop it down. With the doors open, we have 17 inches between the door and the seat, so we're not actually getting more room, definitely more ventilation, but there is an alternative we can simply swing that seat around and now they're seating all the way across blending the inside with the outside we can also expand the table so that this seat can take advantage of it now if we leave this seat all the way inside you've got c-shaped seating wrapping around the table great for dining and we can also flip that seat back and join the party in the aft deck Further inside, now we have opposing seating, wrapping around a solid wood pedestal table, and it's on a high-low pedestal. We can also bring this up so we can take advantage of it from the opposite side as well. We've got a very open space here. Thanks to these huge windows that start up high and go down extremely low, and then couple that with the six foot, five inch overhead. Of course, the quality of materials that we're seeing with Galleon all the time are coming through here as well. Nice material on the vertical supports, high gloss finished walnut and Corian counters. And let's not forget about the 32 inch flat screen TV on an electric lift. Moving forward, we go up a six inch step and that takes us to the galley area. More Corian counter, there's a storage area just behind the backsplash. The window drops down so we can add ventilation along with the aft windows that are opened up. For the functional aspects of the galley, there's a double basin stainless steel sink and there is a spot for the cover, trash receptacle, two burner electric stove, open counter space, and then down below, refrigerator, convection microwave oven. Now let's go down below and take a look at this two head, two stateroom layout. I like the stainless steel grab rail and more Alcantara suede in the bulkhead. Let's start with the master stateroom located aft. First thing I'm noticing is the variable height to the overhead. Right where I am now, five feet 11 inches, but then it drops down to four feet three inches, and then again to three feet eight inches. Hull side windows to both sides, letting natural light pour into this stateroom. We're seeing the same materials, the high gloss walnut, the material that we saw on the vertical supports up above are repeated here on the headboard, and here it's even backlit. There's a swing out stool located right in front of the vanity and it's a soft close, so if we have someone sleeping, we're not gonna wake them up. Plenty of storage to both sides and even forward. On the forward bulkhead, there's a 32-inch TV on a swivel mount. 
Just to starboard of the entrance is access to the private ensuite. This includes a separate shower stall. There's a full length hull side window just above mirrored cabinets. The sink is at the aft bulkhead. It's a vessel sink mounted on top of a Corian counter. Now, just ahead is the VIP stateroom. Now, this is a comfortable stateroom. Twin berths, hull side windows to both sides, so we get natural light from there and from the overhead skylight that goes nearly full length. I'm happy to see that there's storage under the windows at both sides, plus there's shelf space up above. And notice the headboard. Again, we're seeing that quality material and it's backlit. Now, obviously, this is set up for two people that might not be a couple, but if we do have a couple, the two come together. Now, we've also got a 24-inch flat-screen TV. In addition to the storage underneath the windows, there's one, two hanging lockers, plus more storage underneath the berth. And the stateroom also has private entrance to the head. Now, this also has a separate entrance, allowing it to serve double duty as a day head. Now, a couple of my favorite features on this boat. Look at the woodwork in the door. It's matchbooked, and there's another panel right in the center of it. They didn't have to do that, but it adds a lot of class to the boat. I like that there are no hard corners or sharp edges to jab yourself on. All rounded edges. Lastly, the clever use of space that we're seeing throughout this boat. There's a lot going on in here, and it all comes together really nicely, mostly because everything's convertible from one use to another. Galleon's design team worked hard to create a boat that had all of the features of the larger versions in this smaller platform, and I think they did a very nice job of it. This boat's also available without the flying bridge, and that's the 410 HTC, so you can have it both ways. Either way, that's my full features inspection of the 400 fly from Galleon. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.